So then in drawing scale figures, the best thing is to think about going from the outside in. So the outside is really the proportions, and then the next is the torso, then the legs, then the arms, then the head. So you're going from big to small, and then the details like the hands. So for the hands, the wrist will come down. We draw kind of an oval shape, take a bite out of it like a cookie, and then concave thumb, and then bring the fingers in a bit of a curve there, see, on a small scale. So draw an oval, take a bite out of it, concave thumb, fingers. And do the same thing here, oval, concave thumb, fingers, that's all. On the torso, we put two buttons, about a third of the way up there. And then we, uh, at the bottom of this button, we draw a belt and we suck in the waist at the belt. And then we draw a V-neck and then a collar would go up and down and around the back of the neck. And we nestle the neck into a t-shirt line right there. Now let's try this person walking towards us. <clears throat> so mark the top, mark the bottom, mark the middle. And I'm just going to go again with the, uh, the, tor with the shoulders, the sides of the torso. And I'm coming straight down this time, maybe even pulling in a little bit. Uh, more or less straight down. But here I'm not actually going down to my bottom line. I'm going to come down and stop it a little short. Then the space here at the crotch and come down like that. So this, this leg I've made a little shorter. And I'll show you why, because the person's going to be walking. So then I'm going to uh, put on the, sh well actually uh, I'm going to put the buttons on the torso, bring in the waist, suck it in here. I'm not going to do the arms right away because I want to do special things with them. And I'm going to put the head on, kind of a rounded off rectangle. Drop the t-shirt, the neck into the t-shirt line. And then I'm going to deal with this leg. Now there's a couple of things this leg could be doing here. Uh, this this knee could be <coughs> lifted, see, it could be lifted this way and coming towards us. If that happens, then I'm going to put the knee here about halfway down on this leg. Then I'm going to put the, the foot down here. I'm not actually touching the ground with it. It's slightly raised. Here the foot can touch the ground. This one is slightly raised. And so if I put a, a bit of information down here for shadow or shading, then this foot is lifted. <coughs> This foot is lifted. So that means that I can shade this, this part of the leg. I'd leave the foot alone, but just shade from the knee down. And then the rest of the pants, just imagine the leg would turn as if it's uh, underpants, like this. So this would be shaded here, but not too dark, and that is shaded on the way down. So that looks like the person is kind of got the, the leg lifted and is walking towards you. So whatever you shade is back. Whatever you don't shade is forward. You know? So then that means that the left arm would be forward. This arm would be back. So we put on the shoulders and to really make this arm forward I could overlap the body but even if I don't, even if I put it off to one side here, just put them both off to one side, you snap the wrists off on that line, draw the inner line of the arms, and then the hands, like that. Now, for shading, the left leg is shaded, so the right arm would be shaded. It's the opposite arm, see, like that. And you put on the shirt. So it looks like one arm is forward, one arm is back. Because what tends to happen is if you just put people in a street, they're kind of like penguins, you know. They don't have, they're not really dynamically doing much of anything, you know. But this is a possible way to have them moving even though they're directed towards you. 
Let's do a female in a similar way. So we draw the shoulders, they're a little narrower, and then we come out and in. Draw the shoulders out and in so that we're going a little bigger in the waist. So I'm going to just stop the foot right here and then bring the sort of crotch line down here and then do the legs. They look a little large right now but we can do something with them shortly. And then I'm going to uh, I could bend the other knee but I'm going to bend this one here. So I'm chopping that knee off, shading in the leg and leave the foot up off the ground and a little bit lighter. So then <clears throat> I'm coming halfway down the torso. So to form the torso, come halfway down which is where the rib cage is. Come, Put on like a French cut bathing suit going to the crotch area there and then you put the three the two buttons on then the uh, pelvic bone comes through there and this becomes the scoop in for the waist scoop it that way then our bust line you just come straight across The head becomes a, a, an egg shape, just touching the top of the shoulders, nestling into the neck, which is again kind of like a t-shirt line. Then we put on the shoulders, so all in all they're narrower than with the male, because our first move was a little narrower. <coughs> and then I draw the arms in, don't make them too wide cookie bite out of it, thumb fingers. So we draw the hands. Then I can put a halter top on the dress. And here I can bring the skirt, the hemline up and across that, the leg that is forward. Let the skirt flare out a bit. The upper part of this leg will be kind of a long oval. There's the knee and the lower part is like a fountain pen. So it's wider at the where the calf is wide. And then put a foot on the end of it and that's it. So about the only thing I would do there now is just put, put a hairline on which comes across the forehead and back and bounce the top of the head up a wee bit. And that's it, I can just shade the skirt and if you do shade the skirt, shade it all, but then shade it darker uh, where the, uh, the leg is not lifted. So the rest is just, you know, refinements of making the leg slimmer, whatever you feel like doing. So a, a three-quarter view, because usually what you want to do is have people walking towards you, walking away from you and then three-quarter view and maybe a side view, that's about all. So as long as you're able to do that. Um, or let's make a slightly different silhouette, you see, because uh, you don't want all the people, like I, I think of these as like penguin people if they don't have accessories and if they're just you know, very simple. Let's try this, I'm coming down here and over to this side and down. It's like this, that's kind of a gesture line. Then I'm gonna move the torso here like this, so I'm throwing this hip out. And then I'm coming almost straight down here with the other leg. So here's the crotch, bring the leg together, the feet out like this. So this hip I've thrown out here for a particular reason. I'm gonna put a child up on top of it. So here's the head. And now right in here, I'm gonna put a child's torso and the child is sitting. And this arm is gonna come around and hold the kid up and then the kid's arm is around here, around dad's neck, and there's his head, see? Or mom, whatever. So if you look at the silhouette of it, it's more interesting for one reason we have two heads, but 
the silhouette is more interesting. If you're able to put little groups of people that are, you know, doing other things, it's, um, it, is, uh, it is more interesting than if they are just all walking. Let's try a person actually walking sideways. So we draw a, uh, a bow line there, or we draw a diagonal line. We chop off the neck. We round the back of the rib cage. We draw the belly through. This would be the pubic bone. Keep on going, put on the buttocks. So this gives us a shape for the torso. Then the, the main leg here will come down and back like this into the calf. And there's the foot. Then it's just like there's a hinge right here at this line. It's called the trochanter. And so then we, this is kind of an S line here. So we just throw out another S line like that. and draw the thigh and the calf and there's the foot coming forward. So now we draw on the shoulder and we have one arm back and one arm forward like this and the head is over here. Then we just terminate it with hands, I'm not going to bother drawing them up. And the pants are there so we shade in the far leg like that. So we think about the arms swinging so the hands are up here a little bit higher. And you just shade in the hand that's on the far side of the body, opposite of the legs, the way the legs are shaded. If you think of a person walking away from you, like let's take this Let's take a, a male here. So here's the shoulders, here's the torso. So it's like a flower sack, right? And then we just bring the legs down, almost straight down. There's the feet. The head is here. But now what's different is we put a collar on top of the torso like this. So you're not going to obviously have a V-neck because person's walking away from you. So putting a collar on top of the torso and then putting the back of the head there. That's pretty certainly that the person is walking away from you. And then <clears throat> I can play with the legs. Um, well, first pull in the waistline. So pretend you knew where the three buttons were. There's the waistline. So then we draw the arms. So actually first I'm going to make certain which leg is forward. So it could, it could be just standing there. That, that's possible. So I'm going to put on the beginnings of the arms there, but I'm not completing them yet. So the person could just be standing there or walking away. So at any rate, this, here's two pockets on the back of the jeans. And if they're walking, the leg that is, the leg that is farthest away that's walking that way will get shaded like that. This leg we won't shade, but it'll be kind of like the pants are. They might have a little shade to them. But the leg walking away is shaded. That means the opposite arms will be shaded. So this arm will be shaded, and the other arm will be in light, and you might even be turning it so that the it's bending, bending at the elbow, and then the hands, like that. And the collarbones, the center line. That's about it. Put a hat on this guy. Just put a hat band on, and then bring, bring a brim down. So when you, put, when you put hats on people, here's the person. You put on a uh, hat band, just as if they're wearing a hat band, going to stick a feather in it or whatever. And then you put the skull cap on of a hat. 
the reason I'm mentioning this is I see, I've seen people put hats on people and they just don't look like they would actually fit on their head. But if you do a hat band first and then a, a cap, then you can come down like this and draw the brim, whatever the design is, and then it'll, then it'll work. Sort of like that. And uh, yeah, okay. So I think um, just one more. This is a this is three quarters walking. So you draw um, Robin Hood's bow, and you could you draw two of them, but don't draw them all the way up like that. And then we bring the bow back like this. The other one, you'll draw the bow again. But what I want to do is turn, turn one leg. So I'm going to take this leg and turn it this way. So here's the torso. It's got a corner seam to it. So I've turned one leg. Actually, I should just, I'll start that again, sorry. So here's the torso, like this. And so I want, here's the underpants line, think of it that way. So then this leg, I'm going to turn this way. The other leg, I'm going to turn back. It's in behind, so I use like an S line for the legs. Then here are the shoulders, and I'm going to bring this, this one back and down, this one down and up, like that, so they're curved that way in the direction that he's walking. Forget about that one. <laughs> then up here, uh, here's the head slightly forward. You bring it back into the torso like that. Then we just thicken up the arms and we draw the, the thigh and the calf, thigh and the calf, and the feet like so. Put the belt line on and there's our person walking, the hands, etc. So that's a three-quarter view. So the one thing with the three-quarters is you think of the torso as having, they're like a bar of soap. It kind of has a side panel. Side panel and the arm overlaps the body very slightly, like that. Okay. So that is, uh, those are things that you could practice like uh, like writing your name, you know, just get to be able to zap in one or two scale figures. You don't have to put an entire street full there if you're just at a meeting or if you're doing an illustration, but it's, it's good to understand how to credibly uh, map out some little people in an illustration. Okay. <clears throat> so, now, this fellow here can, he can have a cane. <laughs> He's looking a little. Okay. So now what we want to do is we're going to go after contour. Contour is the uh, linear quality of things. Um, 